Good morning everyone. This is Maine's Touch of Love. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and click that like button and share this video with someone you know, love, and know who loves babies. Um, and if you um, would like, after you finish watching the video and you really think she's adorable, please go ahead and leave a comment below and I'll definitely get back to that as soon as I can. But I just wanted to um, present my baby to you so you guys can see her details and all that good stuff because I'm extremely proud. So this is the baby Leela kit. She is 18 inches. She weighs six pounds, three ounces. She is number 16 out of the edition. I don't know if it's an open edition or closed edition. I have no clue, but I'm guessing it must be open because it doesn't have a number on this side. Um, but um, I decided to name her London. Um, I think I'm going to spell it L-O-N-D-Y-N. N or L-O-N-D-Y-N. I haven't decided yet. I have to write it down to see which way I like it, you know, when it's on paper. And then I'll go from there. But I definitely think the name London fits her. So I'm excited about that. Um, I'm excited about how she turned out and her details and everything like that. I just finished her hair. So I wanted to make sure I introduced you guys to her. She is wrapped in this because I don't want to get in trouble for um, showing you guys. And I just put some of my earrings in. Generally, what I'll do is, um, she has armatures in her arms, and um, the arms and both arms and the legs in both. She can sew her legs, excuse me, I'm just showing everything. See, I'm not good at this. And her legs do straighten out. <laughs> But I think it's important that you guys be able to see that stuff anyways because, you know, if you want to get the baby, you got to see the details and what they have going on. But my goal was to definitely have her hair like in an afro and I think I succeeded in that. I love how it came out. It's all mohair. Um, again, I put some of my earrings in because I'm going to put this outfit on her to see if I can get it to fit. I think it's so adorable. And so I was like, I'm just going to put my own earrings in there that I use for my babies. And then like, if I, um, if I decide to change them, I will later, but I want to put this in there. Um, <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and get her dressed. I want you guys to see her, her hands, see all her details and her feet. You guys can see her hair. Um, her mouth does open bring her up a little closer her mouth does open you guys can see her hands there both hands can y'all see that hand hands and feet y'all I don't know if it's allergies or what it is but I have this weird like feeling in my throat and it makes me feel like I have to cough and stuff so it's a weird sensation um, and they've been, everybody's been saying that they've been ha having bad allergies. So that could be what it is as well. But I have this weird little, it's like weird when I whisper and stuff, it makes me have that sensation to want to cough. It's crazy. Um, let me show you what, let me show you what I have for her here. What I'm going to put on her or what I'm going to attempt to put on her. I think it's so cute. Okay. So I don't know what brand is this. <clears throat> Looking for the brand. Oh, it's a, it's the, the Brook by Edge Hill. It's the Edge Hill collection that I found online. Get that hair off. And so I'm going to put this on her and I'm going to attempt to put on these little booties here with it because her feet are so little. See if I can get away with that. And I need to find her socks. So hold on guys. Okay, I found her socks. I was looking for her socks. I'm going to put these little socks on her. I was trying to find some socks that would go with the outfit but fit her little feet that I didn't have that were um were not stretched out. So I'm going to put this on her and you guys get to see her and everything. 
she's a nice caramel brown color i really like how she turned out i like how everything came out on her i made sure i painted her eyebrows and her lashes her eyebrows are very lightly painted i didn't like get super heavy this time and i'm so proud about that they're just really really faint um and then can you guys see the top parts of her feet and let me see if you can see this one too let me see can y'all see that i'm trying to let me move the clothes can y'all see her feet? I don't know if y'all could see her feet. But um, I, I, I'm so proud of how I painted her and how she came out. I'm really ecstatic, y'all. I'm just excited. Baby London. I said London fits her. Okay, so I'm going to get her dressed. Here we go. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I wanted to grab a pacifier so you guys also could see that her mouth is open to take. She can take a full pacifier. I'm just handing her this one. I want to see what she looked like. Oh, she looks cute with it in. But yeah, she can take a full pacifier very easily. I had her mouth opened. Um, Miss Melody has opened that up for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get her diaper on. So I don't got to keep covering her up. But you guys know. No, um, excuse me. I had to swallow good. You guys know. Whenever <clears throat> I get my baby's dress, I always like to show you. What they look like, you know, down there. So y'all can make sure it looks realistic for you all. Because, you know, that's just important to me. So hold on one second. I'm going to cover up my hand. Do the best I can. The best I can, guys. And not show anybody anything. I'm horrible with that. I think y'all already saw her in the beginning. But I just want to make sure that I'm not doing anything crazy that I'm not supposed to be doing. I don't want to get dinged or dinged for doing that. Um... But I also wanted to see if this cloth diaper would fit her because she was 18 inches. And y'all, it fits her beautifully. I'm so excited. Look, and you know, usually I put on a um, a t-shirt on my babies. But um, I told you guys she had armatures in her hands and in her, um, I'm sorry, in her arms or elbows and in her legs. So I just want to make sure you guys were aware of that. But um. I want to see if it would fit, and it does. I'm so proud. Okay, so now let's see what comes next. Let me move this. I got her socks here. I got this. I'm gonna put this on her. Make sure I have my scissors to cut everything off. Yeah, but I am so proud of how she turned out. I'm so excited. This is why you guys didn't hear from me for a while because I was working on getting her taken care of. Sometimes it takes me a while when I'm uh, when I get to the rooting process, and I only do it when I'm off, like on the weekends and things like that. So usually I put t-shirts again on my babies, but I'm not gonna put a t-shirt on her because the back of this shirt. Why are my scissors? The back of this shirt opens, and I want to show you. Hold on. Oh, there they are. It opens up. I had to get all the tags and stuff out of it. But I want you guys to see it. I'm so excited. <clears throat> and I'm really hoping you guys love her as much as I do. I think I got all the tags. I want to make sure I get everything out of there. Because she's silicone and I don't want anything that, to scratch her or anything like that. I don't think it will. But still, I want to make sure that I'm as careful as possible. Okay, I think I got it. Hold on. With that. Okay, so see it kind of um, opens in the back. But I can you can put a t-shirt with it. I mean, if, if I had a real baby, I don't know. It depends on how hot it was. If I would put a t-shirt on, more than likely I'd probably put a t-shirt on. Anyways, because that's just the way my mom always taught me to put t-shirts on babies. But um, it opens in the back. So I want you guys to be able to see that and see how she looks with that. But, um, yeah, I rooted her hair. It's all mohair. Um, it says it's black, but I think it's just a dark brown color. That's just me. Um, I think I'm always like that when I'm with colors. I wanted to put some sandals on her, but um, I want to make sure I have it on the right side. I wanted to put some sandals on her. Uh, let me see. But her feet... I mean, I could put some on her, but it doesn't match. And the ones that do match were too big for her feet. And I just didn't want it to not look right. So, yeah, I went with that. So, I'm going to put this on. And then, 
see how it fits her. This is a newborn size and she's 18 inches. So I want to see, I haven't put an outfit on her cause I just finished again her hair. So I just want to see how she would do in this outfit. Y'all, she looks so darling. Hold on one second. Um, yeah, hold on. Let me turn her over again. Her hair might be messed up now. Let me turn her over. Turn her over. There we go. And button her up in the back. There you go, sweetie. Button her up. But that's so cute. It fits her beautifully. I think it really looks good on her. I just loved how this outfit looked. So, and I wanted to try it on her. I was going to put a different one on, but I was like, nope, I'm going to put this one on her. I'm just going to go for it and put it on her. <laughs> and so, there. So, it, I guess you could put a t-shirt on it with her size. Like, it doesn't matter. It just opens up so you can kind of see the... Usually, I would think you were going to see the back, but it just opens up. It, it's down lower, so where it opens, and you just see the bum. So, you can put a t-shirt on her, and it'll be fine. But I didn't, and that's rare for me. I'm going to turn her back over, guys. Hold on. Turn her back over. See how she's looking? She looks so cute in this outfit. It's a little big, but I think for her size, she wears a newborn size pretty good. I don't mind it being a little loose. I've never had a problem with that. I think it looks great. So now here's my next challenge. Let's put these socks on her and these little booties and see how that looks. Yeah, my original thought was to put her in um, some sandals, but just didn't fit her feet the way I wanted them to not that it didn't fit and then I'm gonna slide her feet in here put these little booties on her feet oh that's perfect yeah it fits her perfect has a little room but I think it is suit it suits her I really do I think that's cute okay and then I'll put this booty on this foot and there you have it. And I'm going to tie it. Where's the little string? There it is. It, I mean, her foot slid in there to perfection. I love it. So, yeah, I like the booties for her. I like that look. Because even though it may be a little roomy in there, it still it looks really good for her. Yeah, I like that. Okay. And let me tie it. Let me see if I can get it neat here. Let's see. And then I'll grab her pacifier again. And then that will be the details of baby Leela. Again, she's um, 18 inches. She is the Leela kit by Melody Hess. She um, is six pounds, how much? Three ounces. Um, she has elbow armatures in both, uh, in both arms. I like that. I really like how I did her hands and her details in her hands and feet. Um, I just want to make sure you guys can all see her and see how she turned out. I think she came out beautifully. I'm really proud. Do I want to keep you up here or down there? I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll leave your arm right there. But I think she looks adorable. It's a pillow right here. This is why her arm is up. I just want to let y'all know. Um, Where's that pacifier that I had? Because it's clear. It's hard to find it. Hold on. I mean, I literally... Oh, there it is. I said I just had it. But this is the vision that I had for her. She looks so good. I, I really like how she came out. I love how her hair turned out. I think it's perfect for her. Um, and how she's looking. I think it just looks adorable. Um, her flexibility. Her head goes back, but not... Not a lot, a lot, but you still, it needs to be supported. So, yeah, I really like it. I like how soft she is. I like the details I put in her. I just, I'm really, really, really pleased with how she turned out. I really am. This is Baby London, the Leela Kit by Melody Hess. She is painted and rooted by me. Yeah, that went in nicely. And again, I had the mouth open, so I didn't have to open it myself. Um, I asked 
when you get the option, then there you can choose the option to have her mouth open. And I did, but I really love how everything looks on her. Thank you guys for tuning in with me and hanging out there with me. Thank you for all your support. Everyone who does watch my videos, I surely appreciate you. And all my new subscribers, welcome to my channel. Again, like this video, share this video with someone you love who loves babies. This is Maine's Touch of Love. Bye-bye now. <laughs>
I'm not going to be before you long because, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to put other videos together. But I'm going to lay her down. I got a surprise. I'm going to see if I can do it here. Not a big surprise. I mean, y'all already seen this baby, but hold on. I just want to show y'all something. Can y'all see her? Let me see. If I sit back, yeah, y'all can see her. So, okay, hold on one second. One second, guys. One second. Okay. I'm trying to be super careful. Look who I have. This is my little one. This is Noble. And look, they're twinning, guys. Let me sit back. Hold on. Ugh. I don't want anybody to fall. So they're twinning. This is baby Noble, um, Leilani. I can't know, I don't know if I want to do Leilani Noble or Noble Leilani. But this is baby Noble, y'all. She is still whopping 11 pounds. And they are twinning. I want to make sure everybody is safe. But um, let me turn her head here so she's laying. But I love everything about her. I just love how she she came out as well. She is a partial kit. Um, she is the goddess kit, partial kit by Rochelle Farrell. And so I just wanted to um, bring her out so y'all can see. I got them dressed alike. Isn't that cute? I'm so proud of myself. And I think they're about the same color. She may be a little darker than her, but not much. Not by much. I said, oh, y'all look like y'all can almost be like siblings for real. Like. Look at him. Look at her. I said, she's so adorable. I just wanted y'all to be able to see her. And that was it for me. Y'all got, I got baby um, London here. This is the Leela's kit, kit by Melody Hess. She is available for sale. I'm so excited about that. And then this one, she is not available. She's just my personal baby. I just wanted to show you guys that they were 20. But I hope you guys take care of yourself. This is Maine's Touch of Love. If you have not already, please subscribe to my channel, click that like button, and share this video with someone you love who loves babies. And if you like, you can leave a comment below. Hold on, let me pick her up, this girl. Oh man, okay. Yeah, y'all can leave a comment below. I'm gonna slide her over, hold on guys. Cause I can usually one hand her, cause she's so little. But yeah, so yeah, this is baby Noble. Yep, and you guys leave a comment below and I will try my best to get back to them as soon as I can. I appreciate all the comments. I appreciate the support. And those new subscribers who subscribe to my channel, welcome to my channel. Um, you guys get to see my face. You probably, you know, it's a lot of videos I have up. You probably don't actually go through and look at all of them or anything like that because it takes a lot of work. But I just want to let y'all know. Let me see how she looks here. Yeah, look at that. I love her curls. She got the big curls. Say, I got those big curls. I just love it. Again, you guys, take care. This is May's Touch of Love. You guys be safe and be blessed. Bye-bye now.